Good morning, South. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance with Assistant Superintendent Dr. Jennifer DeMeo. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll hear more from her later in the show. Good morning once again and welcome to the Falcon Report for this Friday, the 3rd of November, Day 1. I'm Bethany Kaczynski. And I'm Madeline Freiling. This past Tuesday, South's faculty and students threw on their most ghoulish outfits for Halloween. In order to truly get in the spooky mood, Halloween songs from Thriller by Michael Jackson to Zombie by the Cranberries played in the halls during each passing period. Throughout the day, students sported fabulous costumes ranging from spiritual witches to various animals. Teachers also participated in the fun, with different departments taking part in group costumes. The language department was decked out in Starbucks uniforms. So, who, who are you guys for Halloween? Oh, I'm Fiona from Adventure Time. I'm Aubrey Graham. I'm Rainbow Dash from My Little Pony. I'm Michael Myers. You guys enjoying Halloween? Yeah, of course, man. Um, so I'm YB from Coraline. I'm Coraline from Coraline. I'm Spooda Man. And how are you doing today? I'm really good, you know, my brother Mario, he's out here somewhere, I gotta go look for him, you know, get that candy. So who are you? The Phantom of the Opera is here. And I'm here with Mr. Mario, he's the best brother, honestly. I saw your brother outside today. I just had to give him a bit of a shout out. As the school day came to a close, students planned their after school festivities to continue their eerie Halloween celebrations. Right after homecoming, South's Key Club, led by Ms. Deirdre Gordon, hosted a breast cancer awareness walk at the Valley Stream State Park. Key Club members met at the gates of the park prior to 3 p.m. and quickly got to work making preparations for the day ahead. As South students, their families, and other Valley Stream community members arrived, the Key Club members moved to their stations and guided the participants through the walking path. After the walk finished, all members enjoyed refreshments and bonded over their shared dedication to bringing awareness to such an important cause. Last Tuesday, the football team had an inspiring guest at their practice. After ninth period, the varsity and JV football team went together to the band room to meet former New York Giants football player Perry Williams. Man on man, iron sharpens iron, mono mono, you whoop my butt, I'm gonna whoop your butt. He gave both South teams amazing knowledge and motivation to keep going and try their hardest. I refuse to give up. I refuse to lose. I refuse to be denied. See, that's the deal. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure this stuff out. You don't have to be Einstein now. We got to be in science class. Is it you kick his butt or he going to kick your butt? Dr. Jennifer DeMeo was recently promoted from District Director of Instructional Services to Assistant Superintendent for the Curriculum and Instruction. Emily Nothdorft has the chance to sit down with her and learn all about her and her new position. Emily? I'm joined right now with Dr. DeMeo, who has recently been promoted to Assistant Superintendent. So how does that feel? Um, it feels amazing. It's uh, overwhelming and exciting all at once. I'm very interested in working with the students in our district, as I have for a really long time in this new capacity. So I feel very honored um, to be in the role. And through this promotion, what has changed about your role in shaping education in Valley Stream? I've been really lucky that for the past four years, I've worked at district office um, as the director of instructional services, which has given me the opportunity to be at all four schools and forge relationships with the administration and the teachers and great, get to see the great things that are happening with our students. And I think that this role just allows me even more access to that. And what is there anything that you would like to tell us about yourself so that students can get to know you? Sure. Well, first of all, I'm a Valley Stream uh, person by nature. I went to Wheeler Avenue Elementary, Memorial and Central. I graduated a long time ago from there and my parents still live in Valley Stream. So the community is near and dear to my heart and this is where I want to be doing the work. Um, I have two kids and a husband and I am a CYO basketball coach and a Girl Scout leader on the side. And what is your vision for the district? 
Well, our motto here is learning, achieving, and succeeding. Um, obviously, we're in a unique position having four different schools under one umbrella and kids that come from many different elementary schools. So my vision is to continue to help us align what we do, provide wonderful opportunities for students that are consistent across our schools, and continue to evolve and prepare students for life after high school um, because things are a lot different uh, the, in the year 2023 than they were when I graduated. So I think we have to continue to assess what we do, um, receive input from people involved, not just people in my spot, but students and parents and teachers, and see what we can do to improve outcomes for students. And is there anything else that you'd like to share? I just want to say thank you. I watched the Falcon Report when it's made available to me, and I know you guys do a great job. And Valley Stream South, I'm sorry that I wore green. I promise if I speak to North, I'm going to wear red that day. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. Back to you in the studio. When the Falcon Report returns, we'll learn about the Dallas Brass. But first, a bird's eye view of banner hanging. The Falcon Report will be right back. Do you want to play pickleball? Do you want to become the next champion? Then come on down to the pickleball tournament November 9th. Can you beat the champions? If only there was a place where I could show off my poetic master. Better than Shave's beard, greater than Lenny Da Vinci, and extraordinarily higher than Eddie Allen Ho. If only there was such a place. If you had talent, I'd tell you to go visit the Literary Art Magazine. No way! At the Literary Art Magazine, you can show off your many skills, such as painting, photography, Poetry, writing, approximately 10 hours later, painting, writing, photography, poetry, 3.28 a.m. And many more. Does this ever happen to you? You're doing your homework and you have no idea what the question is asking? Yeah. Or you can't quite remember what you learned in class? Uh-huh. Or are you just plain stuff? Oh, it's a little uncalled. Well, then Homework Helper is the right place for you. Head down to the library on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and go to room 112 on Wednesdays. Last Friday, the electrifying Dallas Brass Quintet graced our presence, playing wonderful tunes for students. The day before, junior high band members had the opportunity to meet the professional musicians, listening to them perform and even rehearse with them a bit. Then the concert took place at Central High School in the auditorium Friday night. The Dallas Brass first performed a number of American classics, including themes from the Magnificent Seven to the Pink Panther. The 7th and 8th graders and a few senior high volunteers eagerly joined the stage to perform a stellar Star Wars piece. Friday was truly a day of musical education and entertainment. It feels like this streak of rainy weekends will never end. Let's turn to Isaiah Coombs to see if this trend will continue this weekend. Isaiah? Thanks guys. The rain is in the past now as this weekend is full of dry, bright weather. Today and Sunday will be mostly sunny with a few scattered clouds. Tomorrow will be more pleasant and have periods of clouds and sun throughout the day. Temperatures this weekend will be in the high 50s to low 60s. Enjoy the sun, South. Back to you in the studio. I heard that South athletes placed at the Cross Country County Meet. That's right. Let's turn to Jackson Hunter, who had the chance to speak with them. Jackson? Thanks, guys. I'm here with the two Cross Country champs from their amazing meet last Saturday. So, 
How does it feel winning? It feels pretty good. I mean, we all worked. Um, we worked really hard for this. We kept. We put a lot of time and effort into practicing. Uh, me and my team, and it's it's nice to see our benefits pay off. I think for me and my team as well, it felt very felt great. And um, considering all the dedication we put throughout the season. Is there any words of advice you would give to athletes wanting to strive their best in their future sports? If there was any advice I'd give to any athletes aspiring for future sports is to, tr is to keep on working as hard as you can because sooner or later, if you keep on working as hard as you can, you c you'll truly achieve what you want from the sport you love. I think time management is as well very important considering we're students as well and all the hard work is always going to be worth it at the end, at the end of the day. Thank you guys. This is Jackson from Sports, back to you in the studio. That's all for this edition of the Falcon Report. For Madeline Freiling, I'm Bethany Kaczynski. Have a great weekend, South. So, Bethany, what's your costume for Halloween this year? What do you mean my costume? This is what I wear every day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>